Hey everybody, it's Jackie here at The Leather Guy. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and following us. We're gonna walk around The Leather Guy and I'm gonna introduce you to some of the people that you've either probably talked to on the phone or have answered your emails or maybe um, on our website chat, um, maybe an eBay questioning. We're just kind of everywhere. So I wanted to put a couple faces with some names and introduce everybody. Um, this is my little piece of the world. Uh, this is my office and as you can tell, Michaela's helping me from behind the camera. Tom, hi, Michaela. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am an Arkansas Razorback fan, in case no one had known that. Um, so my office has a few decorations of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Um, it's the college that I went to, and I lived there for almost 20 years, up until four years ago when I moved back to Minnesota. So this is my little piece of the world. Um, I pretty much help run the Etsy shop. I do um, human resources here at The Leather Guy. Um, and several other things, um, but my main responsibility right now is to run the Etsy department and I take care of our TLG dibs group and I make sure everybody gets a paycheck and um, just try to help everything run smoothly um, in the shop. So that's kind of me, that's Jackie at The Leather Guy. Um, so if you've talked to me in Etsy, hey! Um, if, you've, if I've answered the phone, that's a possibility. If I've answered a question on an email, that's a possibility too. We're gonna pop in and talk to Elaney. She does customer service here at The Leather Guy, so we're gonna head this way and see if we can find her. Hey! Hey guys! This is Elaney. Um, she moved from our image department up to uh, customer service uh, about two months ago. Like that. Yeah, so and she's doing super great. She is usually our main point of contact. So anytime the phone rings, she's usually the first one to answer it. Um, if you walk in the door, she's usually the first one to greet you. Um, she also answers emails and she takes care of our shipping labels and helps process tons and tons of um, all different kinds of things. She has something she does every day different. Yeah. Um, she processes some of the tools and things that come in that's regular stock items. Um, so she has her hands in quite a few things. Mm -hmm. So how do you like it up here compared to the image department? Is it different? It is a lot different. Like yeah. I said, I do a bunch of different things and my day's constantly changing. I never have a day where I'm doing the same thing twice. So hey, that makes the day go by faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you're ever calling and Eleni is answering the phone, that is the beautiful face that matches the voice. Yeah. All right, let's go talk to Brittany. She's our other customer service person here at The Leather Guy. Hey, Brittany. Hey. This is Brittany. Um, she does a lot of things here that are one-on-one -on -one customer service. So she's usually the person that you're gonna talk to if you have in-depth questions about leather or any of that thing. She also does our online chatting. So if you're on our website and you can see that pop up and it asks if we can help you, that's usually Brittany who's behind um, the keyboard trying to answer some of those questions for you. So, what do you think about your job here at The Leather Guy? I like it. Do you? A lot better than anything else I've ever done. <laughs> that's good. Brittany always has a pretty good bubbly personality, so when she's on the phone with all of the customers, she wants to make sure that she does her best and gets them whatever answers to any questions that they may have. So she has lots of different responsibilities that she does each day, but majority of it's customer service based. So do you like dealing with the customers for the most yeah, part? they're my favorite. Yeah! <laughs> she even has some special customers that send her presents. So she <laughs> must do her job really, really well. All right, thank you so much, Brittany. If you're calling and you hear from Brittany, that's the face to the voice. All right, turn around, catch our little staff member right here, Smokey. Smoke, yeah. what are you doing? That's Smokey. He needs a haircut, but he is our resident furball, and you know what? He's probably not answering any phones when you guys are calling, but that's Smokey. Um, let's see. This is Tracy's office. Let's see. She was on the phone. Let's see if she's still... Oh, she's done. This is Tracy. Um, Welcome to my mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it looks pretty good for you right now. It does. Yeah. So, um, obviously, Tracy has been on lots of different um, videos um, on Facebook Live, and so, but if you've ever talked to somebody in email or um, called on the phone and they said that they're Tracy, that's the wonderful face that matches that voice. Hello. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a walk this way, and we're going to go back to the image department and talk to Deanna. Come on with me. Oh, did we show you Bandit? Bandit. Oh, Can Bandit. we have Bandit? Where's your ball? Come here, Bandit. Go find your ball. 
Really? Are you going to be shy? Oh, there he is. Come here. Go get your ball. Come here, buddy. Come here. What are you doing? There's Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's like, okay, I'm done with that. All right. We're going to go out into the warehouse. And, oh, I forgot. We're going to say hi to John just real quick. Hey, John. Turn around and wave to Facebook. This is John. He runs um, everything graphic, everything computer. He is our genius and our wizard behind all of the graphics and everything behind the website. So um, we just wanted to pop in and say hi. If you're ever talking to anybody and somebody mentions John, that is John. All right, we're going to head this way. Um, next up is our shipping department. So I'll show you kind of what that looks like and where that is. Our shipper, Craig, has already left for the day. But this is his area. See how nice and tidy it is? Craig is a big guy, and he does a wonderful job for us here at The Leather Guy. But one thing that some people wouldn't know is he's very OCD. He keeps everything in its place and everything where it's supposed to go. And we're going to kind of, like, tease him a little bit. Are you ready? Come here. This is his picture. This is Craig here in our shipping department. Hey, Craig, this is Craig's tape gun that you're not supposed to touch. And I'm touching it. Um, <laughs> he does dipping at home on the side, and he actually hydro dipped his own tape guns to kind of personalize it and make it his own. So the other thing he doesn't like us to touch, right over here, his ink pen. He hides them when he leaves so no one can take them and nobody messes with them. So he'd really not like it if I like, licked it or something. I'm not going to do that, but that'd be kind of funny. All right, we'll put it back here. This is, ta this is uh, Craig's domain. So he does all of the shipping, everything that goes out to you guys. His hands are on. He makes sure that everything is packaged the way that it's supposed to be. If it's any liquids, that they're packaged properly. Everything is either rolled or folded, and it gets to you guys in the best possible shape so that it has as few wrinkles or mars, anything like that as possible. So if you guys are popping in and um, watching the live, you have any questions, Make sure that you pop up and ask. Um, Michaela can see the screen, so she'll um, tell me that there's a question on there, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. All right, let's go back to the image department. I'll sneak right by Brittany's helping a customer. All right, here's the image department, and here's Deanna typing away. She's listing, um, I think, some New Zealand deer, aren't you? Yeah, New Zealand deer, new going on the site this afternoon. So Deanna is hard at work. Just behind you are the bays that they picture in. We have three different bays that they picture in. And this is the stuff that they're picturing right now. There's gorgeous, gorgeous New Zealand deer. This is my favorite probably leather that we carry here at The Leather Guy. Um, I just love it. I think it's rich. I love the pebbling that's on it. I love the feel of New Zealand deer. Um, it's a great alternative to cow. Um, it is not as stretchy as American deer is, but it does give you that nice soft texture. Um, but it's durable like cow. So love, love, love New Zealand deer. One of my favorites. All right, so that's the image department um, with Deanna. And then we also have um, Michaela. Can you turn the screen around and show you? Am I in it? You're in it. Hey There's guys. Michaela. She does image as well. And they do quality control. They make sure that um, we have any recommendations for my messenger bags, Michael said. <laughs> so what should we use for a messenger bag, Michaela? Um, you could use, well, I guess it depends what you want. It could be like oil tan, I would think, or yep. chap would be really good for yep, that. Yep, I think both of those. And we have a pretty good selection of both mm -hmm. of those right now. We'll just come over here real quick. I'll give this back to you. Um, messenger bags. So we have tons of oil tan. This is our oil tan section, so lots of different colors. If you go to the website and just type in oil tan, it'll bring up um, a lot of different leathers that you could choose from as far as oil tan. That'd be a perfect thing for a messenger bag or chap. And we have tons and tons of chap right now. This is all of our chap leather. So either of those would work. It's just gonna depend on what um, weight that you want and kind of what look you're going for. So either of those, Michael, will work pretty good for you. He said thanks. All right. Okay, let's head on back this way. Um, this is the Etsy section. Um, and Etsy is growing by leaps and bounds. And pretty soon we're going to be able to offer everything that we have on Etsy on all of our different 
platforms as well. So we're super excited about that. Michael said some people line bags with pigskin. Have you heard of that? Yep, yep. And we do have a, a little bit of pigskin. I don't have a ton of pigskin available right now. But yes, as far as liner, you can definitely use pigskin. Sure. Um, okay. This is the other section of our Etsy department. Mostly we have 4x6s, 8x10s, and 12x12 pre-cut options that are available in Etsy. We also do have lots of lamb um, and project pieces. So how do you get to the Etsy shop? Really easy. You're going to just go to your Google search and type in the Leather Guy Etsy shop. That'll bring you, and that's the easiest way to get in. That'll bring you right to a link. Click on that link and it'll take you to us. We're the Leather Guy MN in the Etsy shop. Sometimes Etsy search is a little bit difficult to find us, so using that Google search will be the easiest way to find us um, in the Etsy store itself on that platform. And we have lots of things that are available in Etsy that actually are not on our website, so make sure you get in there and check us out. If you start finding that you really like a lot of the things that are in the Etsy shop, we also have a closed group in Facebook um, called the TLG Dibs. Um, so search around on Facebook and just type in TLG Dibs, D-I-B-S. And we're an online closed group within Facebook that has all kinds of coupon codes. We do contests. I have pop-up sales of one-of-a-kind leathers that I do on there. It's a whole group unto its own. Um, it's growing very, very quickly, and you're more than welcome to be invited to come join that group, so check us out on there. Um, we're going to walk back just a little bit further. This is our scrap room. Tons and tons and tons of scrap um, that's available on the website that you can definitely um, look into uh, purchasing. Um, one of our more popular items are the different um, divisions of scrap, the different selections of scrap that we have. So make sure to jump in and check that out. Um, let's see, what else? We're going to go this way because I've got customers back here. Some of that New Zealand deer that they've been working on, it gets hung out here. And we have a pretty good selection of New Zealand deer that's going up. Look at these nice bright colors. These are newly listed New Zealand deer that just went up yesterday and today, I think. Uh, uh, just today we just did. Just today. Too. All right. Um, so lots of nice bright colors that are getting listed. Here's a pretty patent crackled um, New Zealand. So there's tons of different options in there that you can um, go ahead and look on the website and all of those will be available. We also have lots and lots of lamb that's available right now. Let's go over here and we'll look at that real quick. Um, lots of fashion lamb. Check this out. This is a blue metallic lamb that has a black backing. We have tons and tons of this stuff um, in different fashion um, designs available in lamb and our lamb selection is nice and full right now so make sure that you go online and check all of that out. Um, but what I want to encourage you to do today is to go to the Leather Guy um, Etsy shop check out what we've got in there. If that's something that you think you're really interested in, make sure you check out our Facebook group, TLG Dibs, D-I-B-S, and ask to join that group. Um, lots of exciting upcoming contests, coupon codes, lots of things going on in that. So if you think that that's something you'd be interested in, make sure that you um, check out that group with us. And what I'm going to do is pop in every Thursday, right around this time, kind of tell you guys what we've got going on let you know what we got going on in the Etsy shop and um, talk a little bit about our staff and things that are behind the scenes going on in the uh, leather guy. And if anybody has any questions, make sure you just pop up and ask those questions and I'll definitely answer them the best that I can. Um, in the meantime, if you're watching this after we've gone live, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask us. Sales at the leatherguy.org. You can ask any of those questions and Brittany or Elaney, they'll answer those for you or just give us a call. Um, we always have somebody here. I think our hours are We'll answer the phone from 7 to 6, um, for sure 8 to 6. Uh, so somebody's usually here in the store and can answer those questions, um, and we'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction. So until next Thursday, thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me ramble on and getting to see everybody here um, at the staff at The Leather Guy. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks so much. Bye.